All right, well, here's the moment of truth. The uh, bullet has been plating in my copper solution at a low voltage for probably about an hour and a half or so. <clears throat> and now I'm going to pull it out and see what I've got. Okay. Let's shut the power. I'm going to see. Just pull it out. Clip the lead. Turn the power supply off. Okay. And it's looking good so far. So here is the result. And this is just vinegar, so I'm gonna go ahead and I can go ahead and handle this. But this bullet appears to be a hundred percent coverage. There's a little a couple of specks of uh, dirt on it. It's because I don't have my plating bath clean. I've been experimenting with this and a bunch of sludge and stuff, but um, I don't think I can get a real good picture of that. Let's see if I can. It's like 100% coverage. Let's see. already starting to tarnish out of the bath. You know what? I'm going to dip dip it momentarily into this acid. Clean it up, get that tarnish off. Oh that shouldn't matter. I'm sorry about the quality of this video. It's uh, I'm doing this in my garage. I have lots of ventilation. I don't really have the lights set up perfectly for this. Do a quick rinse here. Some more water. And I'm going to show, take this off and put it up in the lights so you can see it. Everything's very makeshift here. Okay, well, if it stops swinging around, you could probably see it, but that is a hundred percent coverage of that bullet. And nice copper plate. Let's see how durable it is. I'm going to go throw this into my tumbler, which is filled with uh, corn cob, and see if I can't polish this up. That'll also be a test to see how durable the finish is. And then uh, we'll see what happens.